everyone. So I know you're jittering with excitement with your new Foth Creative Icon 2, because I know I sure am. So one thing we thought would be a good idea was to, uh, would be to turn on the machine and kind of go over the setting it up process with you. So I'm letting my machine turn on right now and we'll kind of go over what screens you're gonna expect and all of that sort of thing. So I really love Foth's interface and I love how intuitive it is. So setting it up to be personalized to you really makes a big difference. So in just a second, we'll get started and we'll go from there. I'm always just in awe of how much lighting this machine has too. It's got the 12 LED lights in the center and then she does her morning stretch and then we're ready to go. <laughs> so let's see. In just a moment, it'll flip to my setup screen here and then we'll get started. Okay, so this is gonna be the first screen that you see when the icon is ready for us to set it up. And of course it says welcome, which makes me feel so special. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna go ahead and follow these simple steps to set up the machine. So if we hit start, first off you select your language. So whatever makes sense to you, that's the one you pick. We hit next. Now you're gonna to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, so now it's connecting to the Wi-Fi network here. I think it's thinking. There we go. So I select to which one I want to do. Oh, and look at that. So since I'm setting it up and I just connected it to Wi-Fi, whenever there is an update for these guys, it will do it wirelessly. So right now I can tell it, yes, I do want to update or no, I want to do it later. Since we're doing this video with you guys, I'm going to tell it to remind me la later. So I'm going to do that for now. But if you want to do that at home, go ahead and do that and then start this process right back over. So now you can connect to MySonet. MySonet is a really fun thing that you can do. It has a library online and it also is their new software program, which is really, really great. Um, so you can definitely log in and from there you can send designs directly from your machine to MySonet or even vice versa. So you can digitize things on the software, send it straight to your machine, not having to mess with a USB stick, which is really fun. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and go from here. And then, of course, you can tell it who you are. So. Sometimes the trick with that is remembering how to spell your own name and go from there. Then you can name your machine, which is really nice. So if you have more than one machine in your house and you need to send something from MySonet to your machine, if for example, you've got the Foth Creative Icon and now the Foth Creative Icon 2, you can tell it which machine to send it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that Foth Creative Icon 2. And then you can choose a theme on what you want. So you can choose different colors. So since it says Northern Lights Light, I honestly am gonna keep it that way because I do have the Northern Lights Creative Icon 2 here, hence the different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, go ahead on that one. So then it does activate a 30 day free subscription to MySonet library. So when you log into or create your most MySonet account, it will give you that ability, which is really, really cool. So I just need to make sure all of my stuff is set up for that. So I will do that later. Now, this is a cool thing. It's actually showing as a brief tutorial on what's on the machine. I actually haven't seen this whole process, so this is really kind of fun to do with you guys. So here, there's gonna be a question mark on my screen. If I ever have a question, I can hit that question mark and go, what is that? And it will tell me, which is awesome. And then it also has this little book icon, which is like your manual. So the machine is telling me all of these useful tips and tricks to use. So if I'm sewing at three o'clock in the morning and you know, Rocky Mountain sewing and vacuum, we're all, we're all at home at that point. Um, you can ask your machine questions and then call us in the morning when we open back up. <laughs> so there we go. And then there's a one touch icon. So, oh, wait a minute, this is cool. 
Oh, cool. Okay, so you can actually use these gestures on your screen to edit designs or edit things that are on the screen. So I actually didn't know that this did this. So you can actually drag it left to right, use two fingers to rotate it or pinch it just like you do on your phone to increase things. So I'm excited to play with that in embroidery. And here we are. So we're on our welcome screen. Now I can tell it what section I wanna to go to. So for right now, I wanna to go to sewing. I can press sewing. She's gonna take a second, open up the sewing screen, and here we are. So that's gonna be your basics on how to set up your machine for your Cre Bach Creative Icon 2. We will talk more about my sonet in the future, but for now, I hope you're having fun with your icon and hopefully that helps you walk through your entrance screen. We'll see you in the next video.